But what's up guys, so this week for Movie Club we watched the movie Big Trouble in Little China. So this movie came out in 1986, the year I was born. Just realized I called myself old, forget that part. This movie stars Kurt Russell, Kim Cattrall, and James Hong is the big one I really remember. The main villain in the whole movie. But regardless, let's get back to the main character in this, Kurt Russell. This is the 80s, this is like Kurt Russell's time. 80s and early 90s, Kurt Russell pretty much owned the screen and he is awesome in this. And even better, John Carpenter directs him in this. I didn't even know John Carpenter directed this, so don't hold that against me, okay? So let's get to the story of this crazy movie. This movie takes place in basically Chinatown and Kurt Russell is like a truck driver and you see him at the beginning of the movie and he's gambling with his friend and he said hey I'll give you a ride to the airport and you can go pick up this girl that you want to see and this guy is just so fixed on this girl how she has green eyes and he keeps talking about how she has green eyes and right off the bat you don't understand the significance of an Asian chick having green eyes but apparently it's a big deal in this movie so he's waiting for her and then Kurt Russell has to see Kim Cattrall waiting and yeah Kim Cattrall is pretty hot in the 80s so he went up to her and talked to her and the Asian guy's like don't do it she's trouble and that's when they first notice like a bunch of trouble in this town where the gangs start fighting each other and Kurt Russell kind of gets his butt kicked a little bit and they kidnap the green eyed Chinese girl. Once they kidnap the green eyed Chinese girl is when shit hits the fan because they end up having to go into Chinatown and they see some shit. He sees like a group of guys fighting and just like okay gang members fighting just whatever. But then you see like three dudes come down from lightning like Raiden and they all start like dominating these good guys and I couldn't help but laugh at one of the dudes that came down from lightning. Actually it looked like he had two butt scratchers and he was going and killing people with them. But that was just a little thing that made me laugh but that's not really part of the story it's just a bunch of like godlike creatures with superpowers come down and like start killing the good guys so these guys have to run away from like the lightning dudes because they can't fight them and they like end up meeting up with another guy that lives there and he does like tour buses and stuff and it's actually the same dude from trimmers but i can't remember his name for the life of me so i feel really bad but i just like oh that's the trimmers dude the old chinese guy he's great in this too he's like an old sorcerer dude which you see later on in the movie now without spoiling the movie the chick with green eyes is very significant to the movie and the main bad guy really wants her and happens that kim control actually has green eyes too and so he's got two chicks with green eyes and it's bad news bears and of course kurt russell and these guys have to go stop them and like save these girls because if they don't bad stuff will happen probably end up taking over the world you know normal bad guy stuff so that's pretty much the plot of the movie but i really want to talk about the fighting in this movie the fighting is a little corny and a little cheesy but you know what it's fun it's fun all around even though they're jumping through the air and then they're like fighting as they're flying through the air it's the 80s i mean you have to give it to them and that's what they really had to do they had to use the stunt and trip wires and stuff one scene in particular that made me laugh because i thought it was so ridiculous was kurt russell was in a wheelchair and he was like dangling over a well and he has to like pull himself up slowly and as he's about safe he like jumps out of the chair real fast and pushes the wheelchair into the well pretending like he could have fell even though he's the one that pushed the wheelchair in it's just kind of hokey and kind of funny but it makes me laugh and you see a lot of that throughout the movie like i said two guys flying through the air uh, hitting each other with swords their crazy lightning powers the weird thing that comes out of the well that grabs people that was a little odd minor little things in this movie that you're just like this is so silly it would have been like a comedy western if it would have took the original approach because it was supposed to be a western and instead of kurt russell's truck that got stolen it would have been a horse so take that into account when you watch this movie now when this movie came out it was actually a box office bomb this movie didn't really get popular until it came out on vhs and then everybody kind of like watched it and really liked it read interviews with john carpenter and kurt russell they said they test screened this movie and they said that audiences loved it but the studio didn't know how to promote it okay i'm gonna say spoiler alert for this and i'll try to put an annotation in there to fast forward past this part but my favorite part of the movie was when the main bad guy like throws a knife at kurt russell and kurt russell catches it and immediately throws it back and it hits the guy right between the eyes i just thought that was the coolest thing i thought that was like indiana jones type style like the guy was doing his little sword thing and he shoots him same thing catches the knife throws right back at him doesn't even say anything it kind of just walks away like a badass but all in all i like this movie i have nothing bad to say about it i recommend it to everybody i think it's really really great but i leave you with that so great pick this week i can't wait to see what we do next week and i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>